welcome to Blossom Your Creativity. My name is Debbie and I'm so happy you stopped by for a visit. On my channel, I like to do DIYs and I love to do faux foods. This is your kind of jam. You're in the right place so we can be creative together. Now, if you like what I'm doing, please leave me a thumbs up, comment, and share. And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. Simply hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified for new videos. So let's get started and craft away. Hi friends, it's challenge time. Five under five. So excited. We'll talk more about it in a little bit. DIY number one. I found this um, little shadow box at the Dollar Tree and um, I tried to take it apart and I broke the glass. <laughs> so um, here I have just this cardboard um, cutout piece and I'm just going to give it a, um, I think I get three coats of this um, barely pink, um, antique, not antique, um, Waverly. And then I took the stencil and I'm using the three different colors here and each bunny will have its own color. So I'm going to start with the blue stenciling that on and it looks really pretty. I love that blue. Um, so then I go ahead and um, go on to the next color, which was the pink and it was just super, um, light so I went ahead and did the Victorian pink and then in the middle I did the light violet I believe violet I'm not sure light purple um, so once I got my bunnies all done now I'm going to put my little saying um, it didn't work out I kind of had to do a couple different things but I didn't get my lettering close enough so once I did the second letter I realized it's too far apart and because it's the chalk paint and I um, had just done it I was able to just wipe it off with a little bit of water and uh, reposition my letters and I got my hippity hop um, a little too close but it is what it is um, it looks pretty cute though um, I should have started the H all the way over to the other side Anyways, while I was putting my painter's tape on for my letters, I um, pulled some of the uh, paper off of that um, sign. So now I'm just going over it with some uh, metallic uh, violet. And now I'm going to use this little um, uh, lights from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to make a little hole in that cardboard and then just um, attach the back of the but the battery pack will be in the back and then all the lights will be in the front so I was just trying to position that and make sure I have it where I want I had a little bit of a trouble trying to get all of the corners lined up again to get it back in the box but um, it did work out eventually with a little finagling <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to go around um, the sign with that wire of lights and um, trying to be very careful not to use the um, you know too much glue because I don't want to um, cause a, a short in the line um, so I just kept my lights on and just made sure that it was working I didn't want to go through all that hassle and then it, the lights didn't work <laughs> so here I'm just making sure that um, I can glue down as much as I can I put the lid or the top back on and then I'm just securing a little bit more of the lights um, so that they um, lay flush inside the box. So it's looking super cute. And then I'm going to put some of these little flowers that I got. I believe it was on either Etsy or one of those China shops that you you get online. Um, I've had them for oh, a year and a half, so I have no idea where I got them to to be honest. So I'm just putting flowers on opposite sides of the ears, the first two, and then the last one, I'm going to put the little flowers right in the middle of the ears. So then um, I want to hide a little bit of those lights, um, the the string um, on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of greenery with this moss. I don't recall where that moss came from. Um, I've had it for a while. Um, I'm not sure if that's a Dollar Tree one or not. It doesn't look like it, but 
it could be and so I'm just um, putting a little hot glue and then put some moss that moss is so messy um, and then I just cut what el whatever I didn't need in there and then I have these plastic flowers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just adding them down inside I wanted to put some eggs in there but I couldn't find any eggs that were small enough for that ledge all right let's talk about this challenge it's five under five this is a monthly challenge and it is hosted by some wonderful ladies the first First one is Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and then our amazing Misty from the Crafty Cove Home Decor DIY, and our special guest is Gladys, Designs by Gladys. So make sure you go and check out all three of these wonderful ladies' pages as well as the playlist. There is some awesome stuff being created, and you don't want to miss any of it. All right, let's so continue. DIY number two. I found this cute little duck at the Dollar Tree. I'm taking the corners off of this um, little package that I have. And I'm going to make the beak of the little chick. I um, didn't like the flatness of it. So I was trying to make it more of a 3D effect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and place that on the chick in just a little bit. So I put a coat of Adirondack white chalk paint and painted the chick with sunbeam and um and then oh i'm going to put different colors with inside the little um opening and the <laughs> egg i'm using that blue the pink and then i'll use a green so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of um tacky glue on the inside i'm gonna fill it up as much as i can and then i will um just slowly put the glitter inside i want to make sure that i don't mix the two colors or the three colors so i'm using a popsicle stick and then the pink it was super light so i put i put it in but it seemed too light um so i had to add a little bit more glue and then um more of the glitter and that gave it um a, a you know pinker look and then once that was done Oh, here I am gonna put some more because I didn't like the how light it was all right and then once I finished that then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oh yeah I'm gonna paint the little the little hair or the the fur or whatever that is up there the fur the <laughs> you know what I mean anyways here I am back with my little beak and I'm just getting it in the position because the way that the bird was um the face was kind of looking to the side so i needed to make the mouth or the beak go more to the side so here i'm just making sure where i want it and then i'm going to go ahead and just make a um, circle with some a black paint pen and uh, because that's going to be the inside of the mouth then i secured the beak um, with some super glue and then once I had it all lined up I noticed that I had a little black in uh, some areas that I didn't like um, so I went ahead and went back over the area with that same summer set um, paint and just to make sure that you couldn't see any black and um, then once I did that and then it dried um, I did forget to mention that I painted the beak white um, first before I um, attached it but anyways now I'm going back over it with the um, same paint color that I used for the feathers on the head and now I'm making the eyes and um, use the white paint 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 pen and then um, some black for the the eyeballs <laughs> and then I wanted I wasn't sure if I wanted to um, add something else so I thought well let's make it a girl since we have those girly colors in the egg itself so I'm just make that finger bow and put it there and attached it and I put a little flower um, in the middle and then now I'm just gonna go with that um, dimensional paint and um, do that decor decoration on the bottom and then I use a little bit of um glitter just to add that and then i don't show you but i decided afterwards i was going to put some eyelashes to make it um truly a little girl and you'll see how um i displayed her in the final reveal all right now diy number three 
So I took this little can um, from the Dollar Tree and these embellishments also from the Dollar Tree. And I decided that I wanted to um, decorate the little um, flower pot. I said can, but flower pot. And I started off with hot glue and it seemed like it was okay, um, but I was having some issues. And then I decided after I had already done like, I don't know, like halfway through, uh, I just wasn't liking that you could see um, some of the glue coming through and then when I would pull some of the little strings off it was actually pulling right off so I didn't feel like it was a very good hold so I decided um, to just pull the whole thing off and then when I did then I tried to pull the glue off of the little um, string there um some of them some frayed but it's okay it made it kind of give it that little vintage oldness look so now i'm using the tacky glue which worked so much better i don't know why i didn't think of that in the first place um so i just went ahead and uh, tacky glued that all the way around and um, that worked out really good because it was very flexible and um, it went around the bottom of the um, container very well so once I completed that, then I'm going to work on the top. Now I'm going to use that pink string or, uh, yeah, I don't know, string with the little balls hanging off of it. And I try to like pull them apart because sometimes they get like really flat. So some of them I started pulling apart and then I was like, oh, this is taking too long. So I said, oh, never mind. <laughs> So I am going to go ahead and attach it exactly the same way I did the bottom with just a little bit of um, tacky glue and um, once it's all on it it held very nicely so I was very happy with that. So you're just going to go all the way around and um, tuck it up underneath the lip a little bit and um, it's good to go. Then I just took a piece of floral foam that I had from another um, creation um, that had some of that um, the greenery. And now I'm just going to add um, some of those pink flowers look, um, that I got from Walmart. And so I'm just going to add those in. And um, those white little flowers are from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I thought it turned out pretty good. I think... Um, it, the color, the pink, the different colors of the pink um, really blend well with the planter, um, how I decorate it. So you guys tell me what you think and you'll see it in the final reveal how I added something to it. Um, I had this little hat, um, top hat with some ears and I'm going to add that to my um, little display. So I hope you guys like it. All right, moving right along to DIY number four. So I got um, this little Easter card. I bought a bunch of them at the thrift store and I'm going to use that wood sign, um, my chalk paint. I got those little plastic flowers from um, Hobby Lobby and that um, ribbon. I think I got it at Michael's on a clearance. So I'm going to go ahead and use that card for my sign. I thought that was so pretty. And um, so here I'm just cutting it up. I'm going to trace the um, the oval, the edge, <laughs> so it can match once I put it on. And then I will um, cut the sides as well. So now after I've had my um, sign painted and that's that Victorian pink, I believe, and then I put it Mod Podge, let it dry. And now I'm just going to add my cards to the sign and I'm going to um, use the iron method um, to iron it on. So I iron both sides on first and then I will add the middle piece. Um, that way I can position the um, middle um, so that it all lines up. And so then once I get that done um, and I make sure that it's really adhered, 
I'm going to use some cording that I got from Hobby Lobby to um, go ahead and um, outline the sign. So on that cording, it's like a yellowish green color and, um, and it's elastic so you can pull on it and um, stretch it out further. But I like the little, um, I don't know, it the the design it has of it so if you pulled on it it wouldn't it wouldn't look the same so first I try to use hot glue and um, I really didn't like that you could see the glue through there so I think after I get to a certain point I decide I'm gonna switch it up and start using tacky glue instead so I, I was trying all different methods here. I just wanted to make sure that um, it looked as best as it could. So then I was using the tacky glue. And then what I realized is when I got to the top and I needed to make the um, curve or the edge, that tacky glue was not going to stick. So then I tried um, hot glue on the edge and I wasn't liking that. I was like, I'll lower the place on this one. So um, after I did that, I took that glue off and then I went ahead and worked on using the... Um, permanent hold glue jeez can't even talk and then I added those flowers with tacky glue in a random pattern and then to stand up my sign I'm just using a skewer stick and I was showing you that I used um, the emery board um, just to make a like an angle so that when I put the hot glue that it's going to stand up and um, it worked out perfectly I love it Tell me what you guys think. All right, now DIY number five, the final one. So here's a little rabbit from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of six, I believe. And I painted it with the white chalk paint. And then I had this cute little napkin. Um, I wish I would have found it when I was doing my bees. But uh, anyways, I liked the flowers on it. So I didn't want the um, bee sane. So I just traced out where there was just more of the flowers and none of that sane. And then once I traced it, uh, I um, cut my napkin up and then I put some Mod Podge and I did the same technique as I did in the last one. I let my Mod Podge dry and then once it was completely dry, I removed the different plies and then I just added that to my rabbit and then I used the iron method to attach to the rabbit and then once I had completed that I made sure it was completely adhered then I took my emery board and then just made sure I took off any additional um, napkin that was left over and making sure that it was a seamless look um, in between the ears was a little bit difficult but I was able to get in there and get it done Then I added some white rickrack. Um, I just added some cute little flowers um, to the bunny as well. And then um, I put a little piece of ribbon on the other side and I think it looks pretty good and then I used some flowers all right here's the final reveal I love the ball <laughs> here is my little flower pot with the little bunny row on the bottom and the pink pom-poms on the top and then I just added the um, flowers from Walmart and some I had some greenery and those white picks are from the Dollar Tree and there is my little top hat with the um, bunny ears inside my planter in that cute I love it 
All right, and here, look at this, my little shadow box. It This one gave me the most headache, but it is so cute. I love how it turned out. So you guys have to tell me what you think, um, what I could have done better on that, because that one I really, really struggled on. Um, and if you see in the background, that's from Dollar Tree too. Um, I thought that was so cute, and I wanted to put it in the back backdrop or in the background for you guys. <laughs> and here's my little chick with her little eyelashes, put a little bit of red inside of her mouth, but she is super cute. I love how she turned out. Um, you guys tell me what you think. I put her inside the flower arrangement um, as well. And then I also displayed her um, just standing up on her own, but she's super cute. I love it. I want to take this time to say thank you to Emily and Missy for putting this monthly collaboration on every month and a special um, thanks for Gladys being part of um, this month's collaboration Easter. So I hope you guys like what I put together. Please let me know which item you liked best. Um, if there's anything I could have done better because I am learning. And then please give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider. I really appreciate everyone for coming by. And don't forget to go and watch the playlist of all of the other amazing creators. And thank you so much to my loyal subscribers who are here all the time watching. I love you and I appreciate your um, comments and your support. Bye-bye now.